Nikki, the man was a recluse. Not many, not many people got very close to him, so I guess it was a, a special moment for you. Absolutely, and I think it's now something that I can definitely have in my memory, and I was one of the, the lucky few that got to spend uh, time on stage, but also time uh, you know, in his hotel room with a lot of other kids and, and just getting to know the real Michael and, and uh, just how genuine, and, and, and he just loved, loved performing, and he was such a passionate person, and uh, if I can carry through his passion and through my entertaining, then um, I'll, I'll be a happy girl. Yeah, an inspiring man, but just how did you end up on, on stage with him? <laughs> It's kind of a long story. Um, I was lucky enough to go to a premiere of, of a movie he was uh, screening um, and then we all kind of got trampled on um, and then he took us back to the hotel and we just met him and, and spent some time with him and um, you know after that he asked us to sing on stage with him and we were singing Heal the World, one of my favourite songs and he picked me out to sing out the front with him and carried me off stage. So. Uh, it was a whirlwind couple of days, but um, a true inspiration and, and the memories I look back on every single day in my career and, uh, and, and I'm still coming to terms with what's happened today. And you also got to spend some time with him afterwards in his hotel room with just a small group of people. <laughs> yeah, there was, there was a couple of kids that um, had been asked to come along and, and perform with him and just spending time with him and, and how shy he actually was away from being on stage and you know as soon as he walked onto the stage he was unstoppable and uh, that's what a true entertainer is and, and uh, he, he was an exceptional person, the most down to earth person I've ever met and uh, just a true inspiration to me as an artist. Yeah, shy, shy in front of a small group but, but such a performer in front of millions isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, incredible. As I said, you know, the king of pop and, and, and an entertainer and, and that's what he was. He was an entertainer and that's what he lived and breathed and, and I hope we can carry on, uh, you know, his music for generations to come. Now, he did leave you something very special to remember him by. Pick it up, show us what you've got he there. He did, he did. This is uh, the jacket he picked out. Um, most of his jackets, as most people will know, are, uh, are black. So considering I was the only blonde girl there, he picked out this blue one for me and uh, it's got a exclusively made for Michael Jackson tag in it. And, um, you know, I just thought it was something I was going to be able to show my kids. And, and now to, to have this tragic event happen on the day and have this memory from him is, is truly amazing. You know you could make a fortune on eBay right now. Oh, I think I want to keep it close to my heart. I've got a lot of memories with it, so um, I think I'll keep it. <laughs> I think there's no question about that at all. But look, for someone who's had such a special memory with him, when you heard the news this morning, what was your reaction? I was shocked. I was inundated with text messages this morning, and at first I couldn't believe it. And it, it's taken me quite a while to, to, to come to terms with it and, and the fact that he's actually dead. And I, I just you know, feel the tragic loss for, for his family and especially his children as well. I mean, I, I can't imagine what they're going through when, uh, and, and his family. It's just, it's devastating. I was only close to him for a short amount of time, but um, he made such an impact on me. That's true. He has three young children. We have to remember that in all of this yeah. and, and our hearts go out to them and the rest of his family. But he did inspire so many young performers, not just yourself. What will you remember and what will you carry through in your career? Um, I, I, you know, I think it's his entertainment quality. He's, he was so grounded and down to earth. Um, and, and his smile, like as soon as he smiled, it lit up the room and, and that's the same as when he got on stage. But um, I definitely will carry when he carried me off stage. I think that was a moment and he put me down and uh, he said, okay, I'm going back out. And it was, it was just our little moment and it's something I'll cherish for the rest of my life. You know, he has been plagued as much by being famous for his wonderful music, by his eccentricities. He's, 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 a, he, you know, he's not called Wacko Jacko for nothing, but what do you make <laughs> of all the controversy, Nikki? Look, I met the real Jacko and, uh, you know, I, I never believed any of it at, at any stage of my life. You know, I met the real him. I don't know what went on, but um, to me, he was a genuine person down to earth and, and loved his job and lived through music. And uh, uh, that's, that's all I can really, uh, I, I guess, comment on. Okay, Nikki, well, you've got a, a jacket there to treasure and some special Thanks memories you. as well. We thank you for sharing them with us. Thank you. And uh, definitely my thoughts are with all his fans and, and family as well.